Hello there. Are you looking for resume dashboard design inspiration for developing your next resume? So here are five resume dashboard designs that will help in your next project or for developing your own resume. And if you want to learn how you can create such dashboard or such resumes within a dashboard, then you can join my advanced step to dashboard training. With that, let me show you these five designs and their functionality. All right, so here I am with my first design, which I really like. So this is created by Eric. As you can see, the name of Eric is also present and the link for each of these uh, five different visualization for resumes. I will put it in a description so that you can easily access if you want to, you know, play around with more or you want to know each of these developers profile. Right. So this is very good looking resume. You can see here on the left a quick information about Eric and on the right hand side about the experience, the, uh, you know, the journey from 2015 to 2017 up until here and then in here 2017 to 19 and then 2019 or so on and so forth. Right. So it talks about the uh, journey, then the education, the skills that uh, that Eric is having certifications clearly and the interest, right? And finally, the section for my work. So why I like this is because this is really cool from a perspective of how these different tiles have been created and all the most important is information is present and gives us a very good, rich look and feel of a from a resume perspective, which is an inter interactive resume. All right, so you can access it using the link which is present. Now, let me move on to the second one, which is the Julia uh, resume or Julia's resume. Let me expand this, right? So now you can see it. This is the resume of Julia. And again, you know, the link is present in the description. So you can go ahead and do that. So this is more, um, you know, from an innovation, innovative visualization, like a Gantt chart. Uh, to show the education, employment, extracurricular activities and the recognition, right? So all of this is present here. How you can contact is again given via the uh, icons. So this is also a good design and about the testimonials. And then a quick summary about uh, the positions uh, or the, you know, the skill set of uh, Julia and then technical skill set over here. And you can select a resume element to show the location right uh, over here. This resume was made a quick information using the uh, icon, which is a tab view icon. So that basically talks uh, a lot from a visual perspective. Again, uh, you know, a pink color is uh, or lightish pink color is given as a background uh, as as you know, it is created by Julia. I think usually girls love. Uh, pink color and probably that's why it has been used but up to you you what color you want to use however focus is on the design and similarly if you see the tiles over here or these icons over here is matching with the color so whatever design you choose or color you choose you know uh, all your icons and everything else should should be in alignment so i really like it you know high level summary and then at the top what uh, you know the in the key skills or what do you know uh, where you have the expertise and you have the contact information all right with that uh, we i can go to another resume this again looks like to me more of a presentation sort of a resume because this type of an icon experience i have seen it in some of the videos presentation videos, the Microsoft presentation related videos. And this is created by Karen Henson. As you can see the Karen's uh, image over here, and this is an interactive visual resume. So this can be your third idea. If you are, let's say in sort of an art domain or media domain, you know, where you really need to be something like uh, uh, more innovative in terms of your design and inspiration so you can use this however if you are more in a business setting i really like this one so this is a th third uh, type of a resume i wanted to show you if that suits your industry so over here you can click in each of the icon for example i clicked over here on the personal icon it will take a couple of seconds and show you the personal detail for the karen 
this is mainly from a perspective of uh, the personal details like this is about me so with the help of the images this uh, Karen has shown her information again LinkedIn profile Tableau public profile and Twitter profile which you can go and check again if you want to hide it you need to click it here again similarly what data visualization you know that has been created and obviously she must have put one of her best work so over here you know the visualization is something which is present that you can click and that will open up in a new tab so similarly experience you can go and explore again uh, like I said you know quite a creative from the perspective of if you are in art media or that type of a domain which which enhance more and more or recognize more and more creativity so this is about the experience in the companies the recognition which is being taken and uh, her video uh, where she must have given uh, this this talk like how chick flick a transform into a business value so must look at it i have looked at it i found it very beneficial and this is what the education is again very innovatively written over here i graduated from where it has been graduated so um, icon and then georgia of technology you know give gives bit of a recognition from perspective of uh, a visual appearance of the icon of your um of, your, of the institute then where i live well here you have right and uh, other meaningful places so that shows like where she is living and uh, that basically gives if it is near to your company right so that is a third resume what i wanted to show you the next resume let's move on to the next resume again very good both from art and business setting perspective uh, it looks like a very good combination again you know what can be improved is these text is bit washed out along with the image in the background and the front end image i think this is where some settings related to the contrast can be improved but that's just my opinion right what what i would really like to do in my um in my resume if i am if i need to try to create this one so this is created by daria as you can see quick information about the daria if you see similar to the first resume uh, for of eric and then down below it shows like uh, the places that she has been and uh, this is about the training again some information is not displayed so things to keep in mind when we are putting the visualization on on tableau public if let's say our employer is looking at it or prospective employer is looking at it you know they may find it difficult to read it so something to take care but the design is really nice as you can see the experience in the home water right um, a detailed company home water what is the description similarly ddb uh, rack 10 and tabletics so professional skills industries expertise trainings that is being taken uh, in the in this tableau domain i believe actions parameter all indicate that it is a tableau related trainings so that's quickly about this resume which again i really liked it from design perspective and i wanted to show you all right let me go to my final resume which is quite descriptive so this can be something you know uh, useful if you are in a domain which is more of an education or something like publication and all because you will see a lot of words over here and that's why i'm using this this uh, tech, this uh, terminology like if you are going in a publication or education that's where you know people really like and go in depth into the details and that is what i think christian felix is doing over here so this resume is also present in the description you can look at the christian profile however if you will see very innovatively he has mentioned the tools with the help of the visualization when he became a heavy user and when he was the light user but again if you see this information is is hidden something to take care uh, when you are uploading the in uploading on to the uh, tableau public you know it become it disappears so it needs to be a small text or rotated labels right so this is where you will see even the timeline as well like when he was in roche and Rathon and when he was voted for best visualization and here you know it shows that he was a light user but then he became a heavy user uh, so these lines basically indicated when he was a light user or heavy user 
over this timeline must be the number of the year information like 2010, 2015 and so on and so forth, right? And then details about each of uh, the experience and education over here. Then the final section. So that's how I read it. First section, second section, third section and fourth section. And in that you have these subsections. So certification and exam, TABLE certified association, associate exam, chartered financial, and then ISTJ, analytical thinker, logistician, all of that over here. So I really like this resume because again, a lot of good images here at the top sort of shows like, uh, you know, again, you see that the uh, the, ti the title has been used in terms of what he knows, right? So pretty interesting way to show the show your information. So that's something I wanted to show you that you can use in your next project if you are if you really like this visualization like me, right? And uh, and showcase your resumes as per as per, for your prospective employer. And I think that will give a lot of value. You choose any of the one which you really like and your industry you are going in. And that's why I've kept I kept highlighting like from my perspective or in my opinion, in which industry the resume may look good. And um, if you like it, you can go ahead and use it. Links are present in the description. But remember, uh, I I take trainings of the advanced tablet dashboard where I cover uh, dashboards like this, if not exactly resume, but maybe different industry dashboards. So that is something you can join and uh, we can learn or I can educate you about how you can create such visualizations. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with some new topic.